What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is what I'm going to review today and it is Paula's Choice. So for those of you who haven't heard about Paula's Choice, um, where have you been all this time? Uh, just kidding. I didn't know about Paula's Choice till about a year ago. So don't worry. Um, Paula's Choice is a skincare line of products from a lady called Paula. And what I liked about her is that she's been in the industry for, I would say, about 20 years or so or plus. And she wanted to start her own skincare line because she wanted something that was affordable, something that had been, you know, researched on with good ingredients, no testing on animals, etc. And honestly, I can say she's done an amazing job so far. Um, it's a, an American brand and they they are on social media you can look at their instagram she is always on live and kind of talks about her products i think it's pretty cool to see that the owner is still working there and she really stands behind these products um i am not sponsored in absolutely any way i am no fashion guru no skincare person i am just a customer that is really happy with her product and i decided to take the time out of my day to do a review so hopefully this will help you because when i was starting um, to look for skincare lines. I did a lot of reviews. I mean, I read a lot of reviews. I looked at a lot of YouTube videos and that kind of helped me decide. Okay, the first product I'm going to review is called Redness Relief Cleanser. Um, the reason I got this is because I have a somewhat of a mixed skin. Um, I have a lot of red zones, so my cheeks and my T-bone here get really red during the day, especially when I go to the gym. So I decided to get something for redness relief. Um, I'm not saying that this product will remove your red because it won't, but it is. Um, it will help because it is non-irritant, there's no fragrance, and it's mainly meant for people with sensitive skin, which I would say I have. Um, you don't need a lot. I would say this lasts me like three to four months. You just need a little bit, and it really does clean out your face. I use it at night and in the morning. Um, if you have heavy makeup on, it will not remove all of your makeup on. I would say you would have to use the wipes or maybe find a stronger cleanser on her website. I kind of wanted something a little bit on the softer side because I really don't wear a lot of makeup and because I wanted something gentle. Um, something else that I got is called the 1% BHA Exfoliant. It is also part of the redness relief category. And I really like it because it's just a small sort of pump little liquid some sort of it's some sort of gel and I kind of spread it over my t-zone and around my face and I like it because it's an exfoliant but you don't actually have to scrub and remove it you leave it on so it's a, it's a leave on exfoliant and it's really really good and it doesn't smell like anything either now these two come in I don't think they come in combo but I bought them in combo it is I'll put the name because of the f you can't really see what they are, but it's the 8% AHA lotion and the 2% BHA liquid. So one of them is a pump, strong. has a pump, and the other one is just a liquid that you put on a pad and you kind of just put it all over your face, kind of like a toner. Um, I would say since I've been using these two, I've seen a huge improvement in my skin. Um, no, no lies. Like in my pores are a lot smaller. My imperfections have cleared up. I used to get a couple of, you know, um, I would say like red spots and zits once in a while throughout the month. These kill it. Like these have made my skin so smooth and clear, uh, that I, I swear by these. Um, I also did notice that when you go on Paula's Choice, these are probably the top two most reviewed um, creams and uh, they get about four to five star like people seem to love them and I understand why like really great um, and then I got a couple of other things um, I got this resist brightening essence and it's just a little like I don't even know what this is called but it's a liquid 
and you kind of just spread it throughout your face at the very end of your routine and it's meant to give you it restores radiance for a healthier glow um, I think it just kind of helps the skin look a little bit more glowy and it somewhat moisturizes it a little bit I really like it I use it at the end of my routine and obviously you need a moisturizer or at least I did because my skin is somewhat dry especially in the winter and the reason I got the Resist Barrier Repair Moisturizer is one, it got a lot of really good reviews on the website. And I wanted to have a cream that also had retinol, which it does. And the main purpose of retinol is it helps with, you know, aging. Um, it is one of the, you know, ingredients used in most uh, anti-aging creams. So I like it because it's a moisturizer, but it's also helping me prevent wrinkles. Um, yeah, it's a little pump. You don't need a lot I kind of spread it throughout my face and it really does keep my face moisturized this is something that I use in the morning and at night okay now the last thing that I bought is called resist triple action dark spot 7% so I know you can't really see the products well so I will mention them in the link below this is meant for people who have dark spots so if you were like me when you were younger, you thought you were invincible and you never wore sunscreen, you put oil on your face so it could burn more. Uh, I used to put coke all over my body just to get a nicer color, never wore sunscreen. So don't be like me if you're watching this and you're doing that. And two, if you have some sort of sun damage, I really recommend this cream. Um, you don't need a lot. I mean, this has lasted me like four or five months and it's almost done and you just take a little bit and you place it where your dark spots are. I have a couple of sun damaged spots throughout my cheeks and I just kind of let it sit there and it just, I've noticed that the dark spots have, haven't gone away. Obviously, I'm not going to repair sun damage for the last 10 years in four or five months, but I would say it has calmed down the color tone of the dark spots. And I think that if I keep using it throughout the years, it will eventually remove them. Um, I have noticed a big change with this. Um, it really does work. So I hope you guys enjoy my polish choice review. I would give it a 4.5 out of 5 like I really love her products. They're extremely well priced like I think literally anyone could afford this um, They average between I would say like $18 to about $35 per cream um, We're not looking in the hundred dollar range for one cream like most expensive, you know age age better creams or whatever brands are throwing out there. These are good quality there is research behind them. Every ingredient put in the creams is explained on the website why it is there and it's back, backed up by research. So I really like to see that. And it has just a lot of good reviews, which is why I decided to try it. And I'm here today to tell you, give it a try because it's freaking awesome. And um, one tip that I do have is if you aren't used to putting so many creams on, right? Uh, don't start all of this at once. Don't be like me. I went from washing my face, not really moisturizing, not really putting any toners, no creams at all, to one day just ordering all of these online and putting everything on my face twice a day. Um, I would say three weeks later, I started to get a reaction on my face. Um, it has a specific term. I'll put it down here. I don't know how to say it. But when I was Googling, I realized what it was. And I started getting rashes all around my mouth and around my nose. And... I didn't know what it was, so I kept just making it worse. I kept putting more and more creams and trying to hide it, apple cider vinegar, like lime, you name it. It was on the web, on Google of things to do. And no. Uh, what happened was I had a reaction, not necessarily to a cream or to a chemical, because I'm still using them now and I'm fine. It was a reaction to my skin trying to protect itself from never really needing to protect itself from all these creams to all of a sudden being worried that someone was maybe attacking it. Um, so yeah, I would say go slow. Uh, start adding two, three creams a week and then maybe just go once a day because I was going twice a day from never putting things to all of a sudden twice a day for three weeks straight and a lot of products. So yeah, buy them, use them, go gentle and just kind of build up your 
skin for this because there are a lot of harsher chemicals that are there to you know exfoliate your face and remove dark spots and I kind of overwhelmed my skin so if you have any of this conditions or you've had it um, I would say the best thing that helped me remove it and I would say cleared out after about a week and a half to two was I stopped using anything washed my face just with the gentle um, you know gentle face wash and that's it no creams no moisturizing nothing just let my skin relax and after about two weeks it finally left and I slowly really slowly rebuilt back up the way I should have done it from the beginning 